Hi guys, this is Joy, and today I'm going to do, I'm going to teach a technique that I learned at Album Retreat to make a sketch. This is the sketch for this week. I'm using Skylark, but I will show you the inspiration. Um, you can also make this um, layout out of uh, a change of scenery, which is still available. Um, and I will show you that picture. So this is a picture of the two-page layout that we're going to do. So this challenge is more of a process video, um, and I will be showing you the original one, and um, you can make this um, layout using the change of scenery, or um, I'm recreating it in the Skylark, because if, if I'm doing a process video, Really don't want the same layout twice so I will show you what the original looked like and then we'll dive right into it and I'll show you some of the techniques that I learned at Album Retreat. I absolutely love Album Retreat. Um, it's it's something it's kind of like my mini vacation where I don't go anywhere and I just um, sit and do all the layouts. They are having there is a new um, Album Retreat that is available. Uh, the cost is $250 which is a lot but you get 11 two-page layouts. You get a lot of exclusive product. But I will, I will tell you which ones um, are exclusive to the album retreat, and, <coughs> and, and then we'll recruit dance. So the challenge. Let me go over the challenge rules really quick. So the challenge rules are, the number one thing is, is you have to use close to my heart paper. Um, this month, our paper pack of the month is memory, um, sweet memory, and I will have a picture. That will be on a separate post. Um, and the theme of this month is Valentine's, so you can use any Valentine's theme layout, and that will count. So um, anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and dive into the sketch, and then maybe I'll do a separate video or um, list all the ways that you can qualify to win a, um, a prize. So this week's prize was um, a change of scenery, and, and that went to Nancy. And this paper, so the original, this layout used change of scenery, and I'll show you what the original looked like. And I, because of some of the things were exclusive, I was not able to um, recreate the layout. Not every, I'm not going to be able to do everything. So... This is the layout that is the sketch. And the technique that I'm teaching today is this right here. So they've torn the paper, and it looks really cool. When you, when you use this technique, you kind of want, you always wonder, what am I going to do with this super busy paper? But this works perfectly for busy paper. And um, so we'll just go ahead and get started. I will um, tell you the measurements that I used. I can't, and... Um, and I even have a cheat sheet. So if you want, the, another thing that I'm going to start offering is if, if you want to just recreate the sketch that I use for the sketch challenge, um, you'll be able to buy that in a kit. So if you want to recreate um, this one, and I'll tell you which ones, what it, I can put in your kit. Um, there are some things that I can't, like this. I'm also trying to use up my stash. And so a couple things I can't get anymore. So um, anyway, so um, I'll, I'll talk about those as I go along. But if you're interested in doing this, but this is a great layout because you can see that I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos. You could even put more. And this um, is interactive, and I'll, I'll show you how you can make it interactive. So and away we go. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm going to start on the left side first. So, and, and I'm going to kind of reference to, um, I will slide this one over so that you can see it, and I will also um, show the original. So, and, and I'll, I'll tell you what those are. So, this layout, um, you can see that I recreated it, and I'll tell you what I, I did. If this get, gets more than 30 minutes, I will stop because, I, and we'll make it a two-parter. So, the first thing that I did was they, the original was on white paper and mine I'm putting on Seabrook. 
um, just because I thought it was too stark. Um, so you will need to cut three pieces of paper. So I'll, sh I'll show you, um, I should have taken a picture of this. I sure hope I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so I started off with Seabrook. One of the exclusive things that they, they did in this album retreat was they gave us an exclusive stencil that I dearly love. Um, in album retreats, they give you, usually you get three stamp sets, and this time they gave this, this wonderful um, stencil. I'm going to put it on black and see if you can see it, but it makes clouds, and you can't really see how beautiful um, this, this layout is, um, but we're, we're, going, we're going to make it work. So I took Seabrook, and this is a stencil, and I'm going to just do clouds. And what I like about these clouds is I'm kind of starting them off the side. I will use my, I have my, um, I'll put this down because I don't want to get stuff everywhere. So I am only putting a little bit of clouds because remember, you can't see it, but I have stencil clouds right here. Um, we're just not focused enough to be able to, to do that, but if, Next time I see you, I can show you how we did it improve. So I'm going to take the stencil, and I'm putting it off to the side, and I am using uh, I'm using a brush. A um, I forget what they call these. Okay, you know the kind of brushes. So when you're using inks, I think this is the best. Um, brush to use for these. If you are using like um, Distress inks, um, I use the little, uh, kind of the wooden daubers ones. So I'm going to put this at an angle and it's it's very subtle. Uh, the weird thing about it is when you are putting this on, you never, I'm going to wipe it off on this edge because I don't want anything to really, I don't want it to be too stark. And I think I've already made it that way a little bit. Uh, so we're just going to put some clouds and I'm, I'm tapping off and then I'm just stenciling in. So I am, because I want you to be able to see the clouds, I probably wouldn't have been as heavy handed and I probably wouldn't have put as many clouds on here, but for you to be able to see it, um, I wanted to just put that on there. Um, I, so this is an exclusive stencil, but I do have, if you are interested in doing this one, I can, um, get you one that is my D D I Y stencil. It, it, it does work. It's not as nice as this one. The nice thing about this stencil is, um, and, uh, maybe I'll show you in later projects. Um, they have, it's, it's all nested. So we have some, we have some, uh, mountains that are stenciled and then the trees go directly under it. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just kind of gives it a little cloud. And you don't want them in a straight line because clouds aren't in a straight line. And I am going, even though I would only need to do this down for three inches, but I don't want it to, I'd rather go too far than not far enough. So now that I've got my clouds on, I have cut three um, pieces of paper. And I'm... Okay, so now I have my clouds. I move that, and um, I do have to remember a few things. So I'm putting this one on the bottom, and I have the base page. Normally, I would get this paper, but since I'm stenciling on it and I'm adding some things, and I have pockets, I didn't want to. I don't. I didn't want to tempt fate and not do that. So. Um, oh, thanks, Rochelle. I can actually see your comments. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be asking some questions because I actually have a couple things. So this is Skylark. So I'm putting, this is three inches. And the next strip of paper, can you guess how many inches it is? Three inches. Yay. You guys are very good at this game. And if you wanted to do, this would be really cute on the hair too. Like you could have that. That could have been like the ground, but I wanted it to kind of match, so I went with that. So, 
So this is Skylark. Um, it when you go on to look at the website, Skylark might not be there. Um, some, but it might come back. But no worries. You know, you know me. I I have I have everything. And then the last one. So this one I have to pay attention on because oops. This one I shouldn't have. When you're doing it, don't don't do like me. I I had my rubber eraser. Um, I forgot to tell you guys. Do you, we're gonna tuck things in here. So we are just. We should have. If I took a. Oh yeah. If I if I was set up, I'm going to just. Ooh, don't you love it when I run out of um, tape? So this one, you're making a pocket. I forgot to tell you. And I'm going to put my hands on it a couple times so it's not going to be super stiff, sticky. Um, and I'm making a pocket here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to stuff things down in here, just like this one here. See, this one I have. I have the, po the pockety things in here. Um, if you wanted to put more pictures in, you could do that as well. The same thing with this one. I am not going to, um, I'm basically, I'm going to tape here and here. It's in the middle. I won't have to worry about it coming off. So I'm going to tape that there. And here is, okay. Now I'm going to put my little striped, they have a stripe, a leaf right here. I'm using this one. And so each one of these strips was three inches. So this is a great way to use if you're at the end of a pack. This would be a great use of that because if you, if, you, if you would need like one matching big page, a 12 by 12, but the rest could be scraps. So this I'm going to put on. I like, I like this one because it draws in all a lot of colors. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just sticking this down. All right, so now I have my, oops, I'm robbing, robbing from Peter to pay Paul. So I have my pictures here. So I'll, I'll show you what I did a couple, for a couple of things. So on this, um, I had, I fussy cut this. So there was actually, I didn't, I had a couple options. So I'm going, this is what I wound up with. And where I got this was I actually had some scraps of paper on the back of this large paper. I'll show you. When I was cutting it up, I had a little square left. So this is that square. And then I saw this beautiful memories. So I liked memories. So I cut it out and I just glued it on there. So I did a little bit of fussy cutting to make my... Um, my little thing that I did. Okay, so I also have, um, the other thing that I did was I had this postage stamp and that would, would have gotten lost. So I sponged um, this in to change it. And I like how subtle it is. I, I would get this out, but I just want to show you how, how you can um, just change the color of your wife's postage stamp. So if you decide that you want to do this, I can get you these postage stamps because it is a Cricut file that I have. So I'll just throw that in as a freebie. So if you want to go um, to do it with Change of Scenery, or if you want to do, do it with Skylight, or if you want to do your own thing, but you can make, um, see how it's just subtle? Um, and I'm just changing it from white to Lagoon. Okay. So this, this um, paper pack that I'm working with, so Skylark, they brought it back last month, but this is actually some leftovers that I had from the original, which was like 14 years ago. So I'm super happy that, it's, that I'm using this up. So I'm just going to tape this how I like. But here are some other ideas. So if you didn't have, if you didn't have this little or you didn't want to cut in the middle of it, I will show you some other things that you could make. Maybe I'll show you some other things that you could make. Um, I buried those. I will probably, I, I meant to set everything out, but you could stamp the dragonfly out of side and do that. And I stamped it on 
just a scrap of this paper because I didn't want it to be on Stark. So you, you could do that or you could find some other small thing that was on that paper and just fussy cut it and use up your paper that way. So I'm going to make my postage stamp. Um, I should get this back out. And that way, if, I, if you use this mat, then it doesn't, it doesn't get sticky everywhere. So I'm sticking it in there. Make sure that it's right side up. Okay. And I'm sliding it in here. And that's memories. That's probably not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Because you're not going to pull that up. Okay. Then on the tag. So I got kind of creative with the tags too. Oh, here is an example. This, this was one. I could have used this. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's the stamped butterfly on just a, a very end of that um, this paper. I had some scraps, so I just stamped it on that. And I like it. And, and I did it. Um, it was second generation because I didn't want it to be super, super strong. So the next thing that I did was I... Um, so in this um, album retreat, they had this cute little... Um, tag and I stamped it and that's that's this one stamped um, and I used um, an old-fashioned brad which because it was so small it, it actually fell out it was in there but um, it I had a little brad in here and it, it oh, like this one see how this one is in there this one was smaller and so it kind of fell out but um, so this was with the white. This was, I stamped it on the paper like I did with this one. And there were some words on this paper. And so I just cut it out and stuck it on here. So you could have used that as a tag. But what I went with was the one that was actually part of the paper. So this paper right here, this is right there. And I will hole punch that and put a cute little brad like this one. And I'll put it right here. And that could be your journaling or whatever you'd like. You could, so now we're going to put our other two pictures down. Oh, here, here's the one I put the brad in. See how I put the brad in this one? It's a little tiny one. Um, so, because, and I'll show you how I cut it out of the paper and, and covered it up. I kind of had to change um, where my placement was because I really wanted to, um, I just wanted to put more pictures on here. So the next part is I'm just going to set this down. If I put the paper straight, that would be super helpful. I'm going to put paper right here. And I have a ruler somewhere in my mess. Because we all know that I cannot put things straight. So this is about two inches from the bottom, two inches from the bottom, and two inches from the side. Well, I'm, but I'm going to actually put it like one inch from the side. So I'm, gonna, I'm two inches from the top, from the bottom, and about two inches from the top. I'll line that up because I have a crooked eye. And I hope I don't run out of tape in this little video. And that's two inches from the bottom. That looks kind of... Okay. And this is going to go... Somehow the picture seemed bigger than I was doing them before. Oh, it's because I have this other thing. Okay. So, I'm going to put this right here. And this one, I would pop dot. So this, I cannot get for you. I mean, you could make this shape, but um, it is from my stash. And what I'll do is I will pop dot it on so that I can slip my pictures underneath. So I will do that now. Um, and it says, because of you, half the time, I don't even know I'm smiling. I think this is going to be a, a, a page that I do for my grandkids. So I'll have a picture of them together. 
Okay, so then we're going to take some washi tape and it just adds a little bit. I wish I had, um, I tried the, I was going to put journey tape on here, but it was just too many different colors. And so I decided to go with the green. And this is the thing that, and, and I will just show you that I'm going to put washi tape on there because if I, uh, it takes me forever. I love shimmer tape, but it is, and there's all kinds of tricks that you can do so that you don't have to do this. But use your imagination. It's going to go right here. I'm actually just going to tape it here for you guys, and then I'll go back and adhere it correctly. So I just put, that's going to go there. And then, so this is a me thing. Um, in the original, they um, did not, excuse me, got to let the dog in. Now she's going to be mad at me. She's Zoe. Um, sorry, sorry about that, guys. So I'm just gonna put that there, and I will do it correct later. So to add more pictures to it, so at the top, you'll remember that I did not seal this in. So these are all going to go. You can have three pictures here, and and the nice thing about this is I'm gonna show you how if mo most of my uh, layouts I'm gonna have this layout and it's gonna to be top loading so I'm not going to you can slit your um, page protectors and pull them out this way but because it's so close to the top I'm gonna to show you what I'm gonna do and instead of and I'm gonna take my shimmer tape and I'm going to make a little loop and the little loops gonna go like this um, So I'm going to treat this shimmer tra tape like it were a ribbon because I don't want to put in something else that does not match. And I may have to just tape this. If I can't get this to go, I'm going to, I will just use it like, okay, so I got it. So I'm sticking the, see how I'm doing this? I'm going to pull my picture up and then I'm going to go it on the back like this, make sure that it's lined so this is a loop. So it looks like ribbon. And so it's going to go in the top like this. So when it's top loaded, you can just pull it out. If you have, you could actually put three more pictures or hidden journaling on the back. Since, since this is something you're going to pull in and pull out of, you could actually have three more pictures on the back. Because um, I know you guys take a million pictures. So that is... Okay, this is the page. Oh, you get to hear my dog with the squeaky toy. So I'm going to add all that. I won't, I won't have you watch. You, you get the idea. So I'm setting this to the side. And we're going to do work on page two. So um, this is the fun part. Here, here's where the fun begins. So remember my tag? My tag was right here. So I, I wanted that tag. So I kind of rearranged where I put the pictures. I'll show you the original of, um, I'll show you the original. Uh, I think I'll show you the original. Um, here it is. Here this one is. And see, this is what we're going to do next. This is the super fun part I'm so stoked about. So. The first thing you're going to do is this is cut slightly smaller, so it is cut um, 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. And I am going to just attach it a little. I'm just because I don't want it to slip around. And um, I have to have like markers. So I'm doing it a little bit different. But I'm going to put this down at 4 and we're going to tear this. I know it makes, it makes you a little nervous. And we're tearing it so um, this is torn and it's pretty close to the the edge and um, actually I think 
Okay. Yeah. So it's, so I'm going to put a, they had you like write on a pencil, but I am, that makes me a little nervous. So I'm just going to jab it right here. So I'm poking a hole at four and I'm going to go over here and it's down five. So I'm going to poke a hole here and then I'm going to tear it. So I'm going to poke a hole. So I poked one at four and I'm going to poke one at eight and a half. And I'm just putting, they, they used, um, they used a mar uh, pen, but I just, I'm just going to use my scissors. So here's the scary part. I know it's, you're scared. It's kind of scary. So here we go. Now I'm going to tear it. And of course we have a white core. So if I want the core to show, I'm trying to remember how, if I want the core to show, I'm going to tear it this way. And it's, it's all good. I've got my little, yeah, where's my little hole? I know it makes me so nervous to tear into paper. I don't think I, that's actually supposed to be right here. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter because I'm going to tear it so I can see where I'm tearing. So I'm going to tear down to that, that part. Is anyone scared yet? She's tearing in her paper. She's running her. And because there's designs on this, um, if you wanted to do this part first, you could get your little... Um, I almost wish I had torn... I'm going to tear from this side because... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep tearing. i got to keep going until I get to the seven. Okay, and then I'm going to tear down to... Then I'm going to tear this part. And I'm tearing to seven. got to find my little hole. I need to make my holes bigger. Make your holes big enough that you can actually see them. So that's that's my issue. So I'm going to make it big enough so that I can see it. And I'm tearing. Oh, it's so scary to tear paper. This doesn't turn out, you guys. I'm going to be, it's going to be really kind of obvious. Because, oh. And if I'm, I'm going to try to not, well, I guess that bird's going to get rolled up, so. Okay. Okay. So now... I have this. I'm going to put this down like this. And it's too bulky, so I am going to just trim some off. And then you're going to roll it super tight. I'm going to roll it and glue it. Roll it and adhere it. Roll it and adhere it. And roll it and adhere it. And it, um, I'm making mine pretty flat. I'm applying quite a bit of pressure here. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so now, I'm going to put my four by six picture under here. If all goes well and the creek don't rise, there we are. Isn't that so cute? And it, it's just a really different look. I I wish I would have rolled. Oh, I'll, here I'll bring this down a little bit more. Okay. All right. And you might want to roll. Um, there is a learning curve on this one. Okay. So I'm going to. Adhere all this down. Oops. Oh, tape runner. Wouldn't it be funny if I ran out of tape? Okay. While well, I'm adhering this down. So, we are going to go back to our weekly challenges. Um, if And I'm, I'm kind of widening it up. The goal of the challenges is for you to, of course, scrapbook and use your paper, use your stash. That is my ultimate goal. I'm going to, uh, um, so if you use this technique, I will count it in the challenge. So um, if you, and, and actually just say, 
So um, I'm going to try to be a little bit more technique based um, because I've, I've gone to all these um, album retreats and there's so much goodness in them. Um, so many things that you learn and it's, it's, it's the little tiny things that really make a difference like using your um, blending brush to change the colors of, of a, maybe a white element. So now you'll see, I, I, you think, that looks horrible, but it's okay. We're going to cover, we're going to cover all the ugliness up, and I wanted that tag. That's why I had to do this, because I wanted that tag to be, I wanted to use that tag in my layout. So, um, oh, that is super crooked. I have a crooked eye. So this one I have to, it normally I would have not had it quite so low, but because I snitched that tag, I'm kind of committed on to where these are going to go. And, all right, so Things that I don't have, so you can buy this paper pack. Unfortunately, this cute little, this one and the cute little because of you, this um, was available when 14 years ago. <laughs> Yay, joy, it's a win. Um, so this one's not available and this is not available. But some titles that would be super cute for this layout would be, um, and actually I'm having over to the side like this so that, and I, I'll put some little embellishments. I'm not for sure what I'm going to do, but and I won't. I don't want this this video to be. It's already 30 minutes long, um, and I'm going to. So I I will put that up, and then I have. I will take. Um, what I'll do is I'll put cute little green strips down here for journaling. Or or um, right that go right here, and I'll add some clusters right in here to round out the page, but. That is just a fun little um, torn thing. And see how, if now that I have it on there, I probably, you can tear some more, like this kind of covers up the page if that bugs you. You can just kind of come along here and tear some more. It's supposed to look kind of, I guess the word they're using now is organic. So this is the layout sketch for this month. Uh, not this month, actually for the week. Um, if you would like a kit that, um, if you'd like to make this, um, this layout, you could buy this, you could, um, it's use the Skylark, Skylark pack, paper pack, and I can get you this little item and you can cut this out from your paper. Um, and, um, I used pine shimmer tape. Um, if you want to use the change of season paper pack, this one's also available, and I can um, I can get you the stamp. I can stamp you this, and I can um, have you can I can get the tag for you, and I can get the the cute little um, thing right there. So anyway, um, let me know, or I'm excited to see. Um, what you guys come up with, you can use any paper pack as long as it's close to my heart. This month's is Sweet Memories. You can use that paper pack. And I will um, go ahead and write a list of what the challenge is. So you just need to choose one element of the challenge. It could be the paper pack of the month. So you could use the paper pack of the month, and that would count as your challenge. You could use... Um, a Valentine's theme. So there's always a theme, a month-long theme that you can use. If you use anything for Valentine's Day or Sweetheart or whatever um, lovey-dovey stuff, that will count for the theme of the month. And, and you could use any sketch and you just use close to my heart paper. Um, you can use this sketch and any paper pack that you have. Um, I think, I think that's it. So anyway, um, I hope this um, makes sense and I will finish up the layouts add a few things and then I'll have a still picture and I will put um, the sketches in a um, an album 
um, tell me what you think, if this was helpful, if you'd rather just um, have me um, just take a picture. <laughs> um, we can do that as well and not do the videos. Anyway, talk to you later. Um, bye.